Hey guys, Sula Ricchetti here. This is the scav run that I do when I'm trying to make money in Tarkov. Basically, it's designed to minimize the amount of potential conflict that'll happen along the way while maximizing the entire profit. By the end of the video, we make about 500,000 rubles. So watch the entire video you, so you can see all the spots that I hit. And if you enjoy this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you guys at the end of the video here. So we're starting off, we spawned right at the gas station. This is one of the most popular spots that I hit. This has a safe as well as two green boxes. Now the green boxes are important. They do have the chance to spawn a red rebel, uh, which for those of you that don't know, it's one of the most uh, valuable melee items because it allows you to get some additional extracts. We do get a vector 45, which is something that I use and uh, just day-to-day -day raids so it's something that i'm gonna end up keeping and not selling uh but all in all worth eighty thousand. um and so we're already off to a good start we've got an sas drive um in the vector we're already over a hundred thousand pretty handedly so the next spot that we are going to run to if i can make it over the freaking fence here um is we are going to jump over and hit this stash in i don't know what these are like gazebos uh but the little sun huts here um, from there, we are going to end up going to um, the pier, but there's a little stash in here that you guys can hit. Who knows what you'll get out of it, um, but I always hit as many stashes as possible. Um, in this case, we get fuel, which is super important. Um, and then I don't grab the mask. It is worth quite a bit. The only reason that I don't grab it um, is simply because it's not really worth it to me. Um, I get a couple other items or I'm expecting to get a couple other items here that are going to be more valuable along the way. So I'm not going to grab that one mask only because I think it only sells for like 40k total. Um, and there are some other items that we're going to get here that are worth more than that. So once we get to the little, I don't know what this is, it's like an office building next to the pier. Um, you guys can loot all of the filing cabinets. There's chances for like flash drives, Intel folders. I'm not really gonna waste my time on that. The only reason I say that is you're on a scav run, you have a limited timer as it is, and there's additional money that you can make. Now we do run into a problem here. I have to decide between fuel or the lion. They're relatively close in total amount um, from like the rule of perspective. So it's not really worth it for me to swap out the fuel for the lion here, simply because I am going to just be using the fuel. And if I were to get the lion, it's going to basically be swapping fuel for the lion to then sell the lion and get the fuel. So not really worth it for me to do that. Um, at the other end of the corridor, there is another safe and another PC block that you guys can loot. So once we get this one, um, we get a chainlet, not super expensive, not, you know, a crazy thing to grab, but it does help us out here in the long run. Um, so this is what I do in the building. I'm not going to take much more time than that. When we leave, we're going to go to the right. However, what you can do is you can go to the left. There is another stash over at the lighthouse on this map if you want. I chose in this one in particular to not do it because of the amount of time that was left in the raid. I always recommend hitting this body as well. And the reason I say that is that you can get some pretty good stuff. As an example, we got an Intel folder, which is roughly speaking like 130K. Um, and then the landmark rat poison, which is like 40K. So it's a nice way to just make sure that you guys are getting the most amount of profit already. Now we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna speed up this portion of the video just because the next spot that we have to get to is a little bit of a hike. All right, awesome. So now that we've made it to the rock, we've got another stash here that we can hit. Um, again, I recommend hitting all of these stashes. These stashes tend to have things in them that'll sell for quite a bit. As an example, we've got a Xeno. Uh, Xeno sells for like 30K straight to therapist, so it's pretty nice. Um, you can go across the bridge if you want. There's like one or two stashes over there. I am not gonna do it. It takes a ton of time to jump over the barge and get over there. We've only got 12 minutes left in the raid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to two more stashes. 
and then a safe. And that is what I call the end of the run, but there are some bonus stashes that will hit um, as we start to leave toward a uh, slightly dead end as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the broken house, um, which is just from that rock, like straight up and a little bit to the left. Uh, you really can't miss it once you get to like this area, you just kind of start looking around and you will see uh, the broken wood. So there's that broken house. This is gonna have a stash next to the doorway that we're gonna be able to hit. Um, and that stash in particular, um, again, will work like all the others where you can just get some nice items to be able to sell to um, some of the traders. Now this one in particular looks like it had been hit, so there really wasn't anything in it. Uh, you know, toilet paper and two sunglasses is not exactly uh, what we're shooting for. Um, now the next stash, I almost find that nobody hits. Either one, they don't know where to get it, like where to find it, or Two, uh, it does leave you in a spot where you can get pinched pretty easily. So PMCs will definitely tend to avoid this one in um, in favor of some others around the area. But you just walk all the way to the end and then in the bush, you will see some uh, like grass that doesn't look like it belongs. And then you just search around for the search icon and then open it up. And then as you can see here, we get a VKBO bag, which not great, but again, it is technically a purple item, uh, which means it's rare. So you can definitely get some decent items from that. Um, moving on from here, uh, go into this building. This house right here has a, uh, a safe that we can hit. Um, so that's three safes total in one run, which is really, really good. It's gonna lead to a lot of rubles. You can also hit these two jackets that are right behind the door. I do recommend it just because again, you can get keys like Dorms Marked or uh, some other rare keys that will lead to a whole bunch of money for you if you start going there. Um, but once I hit those two jackets, I don't really loot anything else down here. So I'm gonna go straight upstairs. And then the safe is in the back room right here. So once we open this up again, we can get some additional items. Uh, we do get a pretty nice setup here with a wooden clock, a cat, and then just some euros to stack up. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna discard the food that we have. Um, as you can see, I missed the crackers. Um, but then we can just kind of reorganize some stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my gun ammo. There's no point in carrying it at this point. Um, and then we can move the SAS and the ammo around, put the wooden clock in, stack the euros together, and we are set. This is what I call the end of the run. This is really where, um, depending on your extracts, these, this is everything that I hit. Um, if I were to spawn over here, I'd do it in reverse, hit the house, the two stashes, the beach stash, head toward the gas station and the pier, and then leave through an extract over there like Lighthouse. Or, um, or if we spawn where we did, for example, we just do it this way. But on our way out this way, there is two additional stashes towards Fightly Dead End that we can hit. Um, so as we head down the main road here, you're going to see like a blue fence um, that is the signifier of stash number one. And right across from that stash, there is going to be stash number two, which is in a concrete barrel. Um, we don't really get anything from these stashes that is phenomenal, but I always, again, recommend hitting every stash. There's always a chance of a graphics card, a slick, all that kind of stuff. Stashes are either really, really bad or really, really good in my experience. You don't tend to get a ton of stuff uh, we are going to go ahead and keep the slickers instead of the bandage because slickers, baby. Um, and then the last stash is right here. Um, once we hit this, we're going to head straight through Spitely Dead End. I am going to show us heading through Spitely just so that way anyone who doesn't know what it looks like will know what it looks like. But I am going to go ahead. I'm going to stop talking here and I'm going to speed up the last little bit. Awesome. Now that we've survived the raid, let's go ahead and count up everything that we've made so far. Um, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the portion of me selling everything to all the traders, but I'm going to go ahead and I will uh, put the grand total up here at the end of the video here for you guys. So you can see in total what we made, um, including keeping like the vector ACP, keeping the fuel for crafting, 
uh, because in total, we definitely made quite a bit. This would definitely be a worth it stash run. Um, for context, I am also going to be doing this as if I don't have the flea market unlocked. So uh, everything is going to be based off of trader totals. So it is not going to be based off of if I were to sell this to someone on the fee or on the flea market and be able to make more money. It's only going to be done um, as if I don't have access to it. So new players, you guys know what to expect as well. And for anyone that's a vet and watching this video, you know that you can mark up certain items on the flea at this point. Um, and so you'll be able to uh, make even more than what I'm talking about in this video. So look forward to seeing you guys. So all in all, we made 636,000-ish rubles. That is definitely a worth it scav run. Now, I'm not going to say that every run is going to be this good, but I also feel as if you can definitely make more than that. For example, if you have a decent one where you get, you know, some of the items that I got plus a graphics card, you guys definitely have the opportunity to make a ton. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel as there's going to be more videos like this coming soon.